Hey guys, we're down here at ProVision Clothing. After I did the video the other day, the Zycle Z Pro review video, a couple of you were asking about the race kit that I was wearing. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get down here to ProVision. These guys manufacture the equipment. They also sponsor the team that I've been racing for for the last six years. So let's go in, meet some of my team, see some of the kit. So as I said, we're here at ProVision and I've got with me Ben Jockey as well. So he's the, one of the directors down here. It's a father and son operation here. So Steve Jockey, uh, Ben's dad, he's a three times ex national champion of the UK. Uh, so we're gonna catch up with Steve at some point as well. And we'll talk about his national champ victories, the teams he raised for, the milk race history, Commonwealth Games and so on. So we're gonna cover that in another video. But today, I just want to talk about the team, the kits, because I know a lot of you commented on the kit that I was wearing on the review video the other day as well. So, um, all I've done is race for the team for the last five or six years. Ben sort of the mastermind behind the, the kit, um, the sponsors, the design and so on. So, we're going to have a quick run through because it's a fairly short history with, with our, our racing team now. ProVision's been set up since when? 2000? Well, back end of 2014 it started and then racing started in 2015, didn't it? So. And I remember there, were, there weren't too many of us in that initial setup, were there? Well, it grew quite quick though, didn't it? Because, you know, it was, it was only myself who wanted to start and then Wayne come along, you, Stuart, and a few others. And then before you know it, there was 10 or 15 riders overnight, weren't there? Yeah. Who wanted to get stuck in. So, and then. It's just gone from strength to strength, really, I guess. It's been, it's been amazing, really, that from, from that you know, sort of small start that we, we, you know, we went from, to racing Premier calendar races. Yeah, it's crazy. Overnight, overnight, really, yeah. It's um, from racing up at Saltaire in 2015 to you know, stage racing in Ireland and Rutland and a few other, and a few other decent prems as well, you know. So, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, good, so, good progress, really. Brilliant. So you can see the existing kit. This is the this season's kit, I think. But I think we'll we'll come to this in a second. So we'll just give you a brief history of of some of the race kit in the last five years. So I, I remember this one quite well because this was our our first race kit, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously this was just a current jersey, wasn't it? Which we actually which we actually had in stock when we started the collection. And obviously this was the Silicon Edge jersey, which really was the best jersey that we were doing at the time. You know. Um, we had two seasons out of this one, out of this model of jersey, I guess, and then obviously we've ended up with where we're at here, which we can talk about in a minute, I guess, you know? I think the, the thing in with this, this jersey, though, with, with the technology that this has still got, and a lot of this technology has, has carried through to the, the new jersey and beyond, but I'm still using this in the summer. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's still a staple bit of kit for me. Yeah, they were a game changer, you know, I think around about this time of year, 14, 15, obviously, you know, the, the Pro Palaton or whatever, they're all in the hysteria lycra mega fitted stuff you know it's all sort of and this is how it started for us with this style of jersey you know and even when i put this on from because i had such a long time off the bike when i wore that i just thought god it's quite a fitted tight jersey you know but um, it's just <laughs> it's just how it was plus it was xl as well so um, yeah it was quite a big unit wasn't it? Well, things have changed a lot since then so then we unfortunately i've I've, uh, I've no longer got the race jersey from this year but this is the design that that you did yeah 2016 yeah so this was the first year that we went to the new blue and green colorway wasn't it as well yeah, to get away from the bl the black kit and palaton i guess isn't it in the bunch and what we couldn't what we noticed was is we couldn't people who were watching us i think the first race was at, at the eddie Stones, i guess and obviously because it's a big field and obviously, like nobody could see who was wearing the, in the bunch because everybody's wearing black and red. So, so, so it was like it needed to be done, really. And then I remember your dad just shouting at random riders because pretty much at that time, a yeah. lot of teams were wearing black. Well, it was, yeah. Well, there's so. still people do. There's still a lot of teams out there that do, don't they? But um, this was where we sort of changed really to the navy, and we haven't we haven't really looked back since. Yeah, it still looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I think I mean, that even that looks really well still, you know? Yeah, the, the lime green and, and like I say blue really stands out in, in a peloton as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. and I think that's why we, we've developed this lime green at the top of the jersey. Yeah, that's much yeah. more visible as well. Yeah, same with the lids, I guess, as well, once it little things like that. So, so unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't got the race jersey still with that one, but I'm sure, I'm sure there's one around there somewhere. But again, so talk us about this next generation. This was, what, 2017? 2017, so this was a new jersey, and again, obviously we we tend to bring out a new jersey before the season and then obviously we we have the we have the lads in the jersey and you know it's all the, the, the development obviously side of it comes over in the training camps and 
and we kind of sort of get the feedback from that. So this is really the Carbon Aero jersey, which was a new product for 2017, and probably nowadays, it's probably one of our most popular jerseys, and it's replaced the Edge, I guess, you know, but we still sell, we still, we still do quite a lot of Edge jerseys as well, but yeah. So I see quite a bit difference in, in this material and this cut yeah. on the sleeve as yeah, well. If I remember right, it was the first one that was a longer a longer sleeve down to the yeah, elbow yeah, as well, so right? A little bit longer sleeves, um, laser, laser cut as well, so obviously kind of, you know, doing away with as many seams as possible kind of thing. And then obviously we use the the silicon bun gun, bonding in there, the gun bonding in there to just to keep the sleeves in place, you know, obviously mesh side panels again, so the jersey's quite cool and then we use the new fabric on the back of this jersey as well, which is just again just more of a mesh much more of a mesh material just for breathability and keeping you cool on the warmer days really. I think the, the other thing that I remember about this jersey as well, this was the first time that we'd had multiple sponsors. Yes, it so was, remember yeah. that first year we had uh, we had Provision of course as the main sponsor, we had Tanita which is the business I, I yeah. work for as well. But this is the first year when local businesses and national businesses wanted to, to support yeah, the exactly. team as well, I guess. So this for me was a real turning point yeah, in, in the organization because we quite say we started to add these these other supporters within, you know, following our story and our journey as well, I guess. But just what about this design then? Where did this come from? Well, I spend a lot of time kind of sort of trying to look a little bit different, I guess, because um you know, you see a lot of the same designs out there, don't you? So the plan with this one was just, yeah, just do something a little bit different in different textures and tones of colour, really. And um, I can definitely say I didn't see any other kit that looked like this in 2017. And we still get some, I mean, still, people are still out in it now, aren't they? Still gets, still looks well nowadays. It's still quite current, isn't it, you know? So um, so that was completely different design makeup altogether, I guess. Yeah, fantastic. And then we go on to, Again, 2018. I have to say, uh, I've told you numerous times, I really enjoyed this kit. I think this, the simplicity of the white text, I love the pinstripes as well. Yeah. But I noticed with this one, the jersey got a lot lighter. Yeah, there's a lot more. It's, again, it's a new fabric and the actual material, is, it's, it's called carbon, the material that we, use, that we used for this. And again, we had the same little little features on there, no cuffs on no cuffs on the sleeves. You went for like a flows green zip just to tie it in with all the, to tie it in with the other colours. but. Realistically, it was quite a basic design, but probably one of the better, the better designs um, that we've raced in, I guess. It had some, again, some really good, really good feedback, and it was just sort of mainly navy blue with a lot of white sponsors, which I quite like. Anyway, it's just clean cut, really. And the sponsors, sponsors stood out the best on this jersey, I think, um, by by a long way, with it just being white on a navy, a navy background, like. Yeah, and, and the pinstripe uh, shorts yeah, as well. Like, yeah, a bit of a dinner suit. Nice, and then, I, I mean this for me, I mean you guys saw this on the review video the other day, but this is our 2019, I guess we're going to roll this into 2020 as now with some of the reduced racing that we had this year, yeah. but uh, it's the pro it's a pro line jersey, so it's a collarless, I mean, new material called White Storm, which is like silky, really lightweight, there's four different contrasting materials on this, you know, so the different material on the side panel, again for breathability, Little features on the back here again, you know, sort of again. That's another different material. So it's got four different makeups of material. Sleeves nice and long again, with a new gripper system. So there's no silicon in that. So the sleeves don't stick together after a wash or whatever. Yeah. But they're still quite, still got a cuff built in, so they are really fitted when they're on. And um, yeah, as far as lightweight, breathable, classy looking jersey goes, that's probably probably the best one so up to date really so this is sort of the the, the top of the range elite jersey and up, up to date so far yeah and then i guess for, for next year we'll be bringing something else out as we do each year you know um but we will be racing in this kit for next year because not much has happened this year has it so it's, it's been a quiet year for sure yeah, yeah, so. yeah. thank you very much ben so there you go that's a, a run through of uh, some of the the technology the fabrics the history of our our team as well that, that i've been racing for it's worth pointing out as well that, that the guys at provision you can access this technology not just in our team kit and our race kit but also these guys do a core line of, of jerseys as well so i'll probably grab one there for example um you know this is this is available to the public as a standard offering but these guys also the majority of the business with Provision, I guess, is is doing custom kit for for other clubs yeah, and race yeah. teams. Yeah, well, that's our main line of work, really, is the is the custom clothing market. You know, um, we do an awful lot of that, but we are also trying to develop the collection as well. You know, sort of 
add a few new pieces into that as well for next year, which will be interesting. Yeah, I'm, I have to say that um, I, I don't know what the jersey is called, but I've got the, the blue one with the three stripes across the top. When I'm out there doing the, the cafe rides and not seriously training or racing, the fab jersey, the yeah. fab jersey, that tends to be my my go-to jersey as well. So you know, not everything I guess has got to be full race kit all the no, time. Well, definitely not. No, it's not for everybody as well. That's the problem, isn't it? Really, sometimes you know, some, somebody sees like a billboard, I guess, isn't it? It's race kit, so. I think racing cyclists only understand that kind of thing, whereas if you were just a, a casual cyclist, you wouldn't want to be wearing, well, some people do, I guess, don't they? But it's the, the full pro kit image, I guess, isn't it? That not, not everybody goes to that, yeah. thing, you see, so. But I guess it's nice to have the sort of the pro technology in a shirt that you can sit outside a coffee oh, shop. Oh, God, definitely. I mean, that coffee. jersey just plain, again, you know, it's obviously you're in the best kit then, aren't you? So it's still the same. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you very much for yeah, your time no today. Like I say, we are going to follow up this video. I'm going to catch up with Ben's dad, Steve, jockeying at some point as well, aka the Pocket Rocket uh, from the Isle of Man. So we'll do a separate video on that. So like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.